Today we are going to discuss how we can normalize our data. Normalization is a very important step in machine learning applications. So I'm going to import a scikit-learn or scikit-learn's min-max scalar. Let us create a data frame containing three features, five rows. Let's create an object of min max scalar. We are naming the variable scalar. Now we can say scalar dot fit underscore transform. Then as the parameter, we can send the data frame that we have and the fit transform method will return us normalized data. The normalized data will be returned as a list. Let's convert this list to a data frame. We'll name the columns as the same names as our data variable. So we'll say columns is equal to data dot columns. That way we are making sure that the variable data and the variable that we are going to create right now for our normalized data frame, they have the same column names. So now let's take a look at our normalized data frame. So let me print the data variable as well. So this is our normalized data and this is our original data. Notice that the smallest number we had in feature one has become zero here. And the largest number we had in feature one is now one in our normalized data. Same is true for feature two. Our largest number has become one and our smallest number has become zero. So this min max scalar function actually does the min max normalization for us using the fit transform method. And all the values in each column were converted to numbers between zero to one, zero being the smallest number of that particular feature and one being the largest number of that particular feature. So this is how you can normalize you did. Many machine learning algorithms perform better when you use normalized data compared to data that is not normalized.